It's about 11 a.m. February 16th, 2023. Uh, appears to be a lot of activity going on. There's a drain pipe over here and they are doing whatever to the land. But as far as I know, they're not allowed to unless plans have been submitted and approved. It's Wednesday, Jan uh, February 22nd. Uh, I sent a letter to the mayor and to Tracy Alvarez a few days ago asking them to please stop the improvements on this land that the Stevenses own, Nathan and Casey. And it hasn't worked. should be watering this. It's illegal to begin with, so I guess they don't have to do anything that's legal. There they go. They're just... The operator said that he don't they don't put water on it until the end of the day because it'll get his tires dirty. <laughs> he didn't say tires dirty, but it's too messy. But you know, that's the dust is not at the end of the day, the dust is when they're dumping and moving. And at the end of the day. Right. So it's March second. And there's a truck there. It's dumped a bunch of more piles of things, getting ready to spread them. As you can see, uh, that the spreading vehicle is not there. But piles and piles of dirt, no compacting whatsoever. We've never seen a com compacting machine. Um, this is interesting. There must have been a light rain somewhere. The water's flowing in the in the drainage ditch here. Yeah, the ditch is doing its work. Notice the flowing very, very lightly. This whole thing can fill up though in a good rain. It hasn't rained around here, but obviously it must have somewhere else. Either that or there's another broken water main somewhere. But anyway, there's the vehicle. Thanks. So it's Purim, and I'll have to. I'm not sure what's the date today. Oh, the 7th of March. Let's just see what they're up to. Kind of like this. George has got this little truck set up here. Alrighty. Going over the, the berm. Now oh, look. They've got a giant culvert ready to do something with. Perhaps they're just unloading it. Looks very flimsy, doesn't it? So it's March 7th. It's about 2 something in the afternoon. The first video today, March 7th, was taken about 10 o'clock this morning. So apparently they're putting the culvert in. Maybe they'll talk to me. So what are you doing down there? Excuse me. Can you tell me what you're doing? Can you tell me what you're doing? What can you tell me what you're doing over there?
Hey, is that Nate? Hello, Dan. How are you? Okay, how are you? I hope this is working. Let's see. Yeah, it's working. So, uh, you're doing the bridge right now? You're doing the prep for it, yep. Yeah. So, the city said just go ahead and build a bridge and did the articles prompt this or what in the paper? Which articles? Well, the, whether we're demanding like a hearing before the planning and zoning <laughs> so you decide to you know, jump the gun and, and do this before this anything else. This has been else. in the planning for a year and a half. Oh, I know that. We talked before. Yeah, it's been in yeah. the planning for a year and a half, so it's not like we jumped the gun. Oh, I, well, yeah, but... The city's fully aware of it. The street oh, I know that. is fully aware of it. Oh, I know that. Everybody's aware of what's going on. Yeah, but everybody's not happy with it, that you are going to profit by our loss. I don't know how it's your loss. Well, because traffic coming up and down this street... The only way in and out. It's a street. It's a Tra street. Traffic, traffic but that's down. not a street. That's not a street. Never was. Never. Never no, would it, be. It is. No. So I gave all of the city council members a. Uh, can you not put that in my face, please? Well, it's not in your face. <laughs> I gave all the city council members a plan from 1929. Right. This was already in the development from 1929. Right. So if you would have done your research before you bought on what you considered a dead end street, you would have found out that this is undeveloped. It's not a dead end. It never was a dead end. But before your property was developed, this was in the plan. This has been in the plan for almost Nate, 100 years. Take a look, will you, up that hill towards Broadway? Can you envision Wyona going all the way up that hill? It doesn't. No, but it's supposed to by the map. Not on the map. Yes, no. it is Wyoming on the map. No, yes, it does. Way. It goes up, but it was called Hobbs Street then. But it goes that street all... Up there was no, Hobbs. that that street right there, Broadway, with that car going over the bridge, that's well, I Broadway. I did my research before okay. I bought this land, and I'm sorry that you Yeah, you bought this research. land after I bought my land. When did you buy this land? Well, that's fine. When did you buy this well, land? It doesn't matter. When did you buy this land? Why did I buy it? When? Uh, I'm not sure exactly the date we closed on it. Well, give me an idea. Give me a general idea. Uh, a few years. Like when? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Well, I bet you are. No, I'm not sure of the exact date. Well, not the so. exact date, but the year. Give me well, the year. Well, I want to talk in, you know, probabilities. Okay, well, I bet I bought mine before you bought yours. Yes, and you bought on an undeveloped street. Right. You uh, it's, a, not a, it's not a developed street. It's a totally undeveloped street. And, it's and guess developed. what? On the plan, there was this, no you know what, there. you know what, you know what this is? See where that guy is down there and these people are here? This is called James Street. What, what are you going to put in James Street? James L Street. No, this is James Street at the end Actually, of... Actually, that was McElroy up there that went down yeah, there. Yeah, at McElroy down that way yes. in the back. Yes. But so this, this, this is James Street. This street was vacated. No, legally. it wasn't. It's still on the map. This it's still on the map. It's not. It's on the map. It's James Street. So this whole but thing now right here is it's what a drainage saying. ditch. It's a drainage ditch yep. that was not on that map, and yet you're claiming the map has precedence over everything that's happened ever since. Because the drainage ditch was put in by the Army Corps of Engineers, and they went through when, the legal when, process. When? I don't know the year they put this in. It was on Google the, Earth from 1996. So they went through the legal process to put this in here. We're going through the legal process to put this in. But what legal? You're not going through any legal process. You're going through whatever Tracy Alvarez tells you because she's your little buddy. She's and, not my buddy. She well, works for the city. She's yeah, like, but she's obviously 100% behind everything you do and nothing that we want. Well, I don't understand why you guys are against development. Why are we're you not so against, against development. development. I'm against this bridge Do you not realize our that the town street. is falling apart? Do you, Do guys you not, know not that? realize that you could fix things that are falling apart? We are. But it's easier we to build something. Right down there. We're I know the that. Doing all and that. I've We're given you come on commendations for that. We fixed the one that. behind here on Manhattan. I own that one right there. I, I know that. that and great, good job. Good job, Nate. Good job. So good don't, don't, job. You can't say but that I'm but, not but, but for something that you plan to make like three million dollars from, at the loss of our peace of mind and our homes here. And, and, and who's going to buy a $150,000 condo? Well, it's people who are investing. Maybe nobody. Maybe you won't have no, I Well, let's hope not. Yeah. Let's hope national maybe disasters nobody. strike. And, and let's off. hope that the bridge gets taken out. Because you know how stupid it is to have a bridge? <laughs> so you're saying that, you're look at this. for a natural disaster. Oh, I am. I'm praying to God. Good. Okay. Good. So look at this. You've got like a six-foot little flimsy metal pipe. 
down there you've got something that's cement and 14 feet wide you want this you imagine if you will a bridge damming this entire ditch if you've lived the here water that long, will hit how long the base you here? of the bridge i've had this house since 2018. okay so you've seen uh, several years ago seven inches of flood in three hours I, I remember that, right but, I, but, I, I, was wasn't, right but I wasn't the watching this then. Well, I yeah. was, because okay. I lived right there. Right. So there was a chance of my house being flooded whenever that happened. So right. I watched it very carefully. This ditch still only got 10 inches of water, uh -huh. even with 7 inches of rain in 3 hours. Uh -huh. So I've watched it. I've done all my research. I've done everything that I can to do everything correctly. Like, you guys know that you're against development. We're not but against development. We're against apart. this bridge. That, this it. is not going to help the town. Yes, it is. Because this is going to go to Airbnb people. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, Who you know? is going to live in a 400 square foot house? And yes, I talked to They're not Keith. 400 square feet. Well, I know. He says you're going to change this to yeah, 600. How many then? How many? How many? How many what? How many, how many condos do you plan to have here? Uh, the plan isn't finalized yet. Right. Well, how many do you plan? Uh, it's not finalized yet. Because Keith said... Uh, that that's going to change the 600 square feet so I want to know how many will go in there because 24 and meaning 50 people in a house you know that's going to have like traffic going back and forth 50 more houses one right here there's going to be eight and that's 16 that's that's too much on a little quiet street nobody else in the whole town has got like a an extended dead end with 24 more houses and there's no what about turnaround what about turnaround of, and, and yes, I am taping this, of course. I don't know what I'll do with it, but what about turnaboards for emergency We're vehicles? We're addressing that also. Which How are you, you going to do it? Have, right? Did you, you know we it don't, but we don't this? need it. Whenever we don't you need bought it because, the, yes, you do. Need no, because it. he used to turn around. So that wasn't he used here. to turn around right here. I've we got, I've got video. No, it doesn't matter. I've got video of the guy turning around here, but after. So you have video of somebody Mike Shipley, trespassing. After Shipley, yes. Yeah, after video Shipley, of trespassing on after Shipley brought that property. They don't do that anymore. They back up all the way down the street. Yeah, so, so do you want them to, to back up this. down? No, you want them to back up across the bridge? We're not going to make them back up. I have well, What are you going to do? Well, it wasn't in the plans I've seen. Because those plans are not finalized. Uh -huh. They're not submitted yet. We have not put those in for permits or anything else. Uh -huh. It was a conceptual thing that we were starting, and it's grown and done, and we've done everything that we needed to do to make sure that we've checked all the boxes. Uh-huh. All the boxes. <laughs> So that you can make like three million dollars while you bring all this undue traffic into our quiet little neighborhood. Well, I don't know. Everybody makes money in development. That's the reason why development happens. Of course. The city makes money. People that live here contribute to the restaurants and everything that's going on in our town. Everything helps. Are they going to really be part of the community or are they just going to be renters and Airbnbers? <clears throat> There's not going to be Airbnb. How do you I know that? You. Because I own it. That's how I know it. And then who's going to be here? It's going to be an HOA, right. CCNRs that restrict Airbnb. What's CCNR? It's rules in a neighborhood that you have to follow. We're going to restrict Airbnbs. There are not going to be any Airbnbs here. I'm telling you that. We're doing the paperwork, working with lawyers to do the paperwork to ensure well, that there's no Airbnbs. That's good. So the people that live here will be the only people. They'll be your neighbors. They're not going to be new people in and out all the time. And the you last can thing guarantee I want to do, this? You can guarantee this? We've yes, got your word for that. This. It's not going to be an Airbnb. Because if I put somebody in this home, right, and say your neighbor right next to you Airbnbs their house. Right. And the Airbnb people come in every Friday night. And right. They drink beer and, and they, they have parties. Food, and they've and they got like parties. all their yes. buddies coming in. And yes. they leave trash. And they park along our street. Well, don't you see that's why we don't want this? Because We're not how would we Airbnb. know that this would not happen? We're not going to Airbnb. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear you say that. It's not. It, that is not happening. What about, then who do you think is going to be living here? We need doctors, right? We need nurses. Right. We need staff at the VA. Right. We are out of housing. We're out of housing. The motels are full. And People nobody are necessarily wants to renovate some old <laughs> junky place. No, I want to. No, if you can I know, me, but if nobody. You can get them to sell me that, I will build a brand new house right what? there. To sell Anything. what? Anything anything down here if you can get people that own these old places to sell me their properties i will fix them mm -hmm. and i will do everything i can to help the whole town okay. i can't do it people don't want to sell right they you know we've tried we've tried. tried and tried and tried that one is 
the title on that one is such a mess that they right, can't we sell had, it. Right, we know about that. Yes, and right. so any of these old places that you can find me that are that people will sell, mm -hmm. I will buy them and I will fix them. People will not sell down here. That's the problem. Well, that's commendable. And so... And I'm not sure why, if they don't want to live here, why they're not yeah, going to they sell. Yeah, they don't live here. The thing's just falling apart. Right, like our next door neighbors. But the daughter's come and maybe she's going to sell that. I don't know to who. We told her not to sell to you. No offense. Because, come on, look at, look, at, look at our street. We've got these nice, short little houses. And believe it or not, we really like George's house. And we didn't but, build a two-story on Van Patten. No, you that didn't. Over there was and your all first empty. house that you built was quite nice, the gray one. Yes, and, and so and the we own the Van Patten lot also. I know. And we're not going to build a two-story there. Okay, we don't want two stories around here. Well, I, you know, I don't. I'm and I don't know what Shipley plan plans on there. building here either. Yeah, I don't know don't what know he plans on building. Yet. So I'm just saying that everything that we're doing is to try to better. That's everything that I, we're see, doing. See, and I'm all for bettering. Yeah. But how can you like think that? all that traffic is going to better our living circumstances including what Chipley's got how can you say i mean if you were here well, it's no different. if you were here look I you, you, you look at the, i know this you, i thought so you right, were going to sell that house didn't you sell it no i didn't so why? right here on why, Van Patten, why, why, why when we lived it? right there we didn't complain about the traffic they had this that's different you bought it and it had traffic on it but you bought this i this bought this and it didn't street. it didn't no Yes. This was no, is, no, 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 because the, the, the ditch supersedes the street and the fact that they never came down here and looked when they made that plan and saw that they couldn't go up to Broadway. Th th you can't base it on that. That's just you stupid. This no, is, it's you these can't, are 12 Nate, I know you want to base it on that, but That's you, you can't base it on. it on something that changed. It's already done. You it can't base changed. it on something. It has changed. No, it has. There's a drainage ditch. It hasn't the changed. road, no, you're right. It hasn't changed that the road is too that steep side. to go up to Broadway. So actually, my property is that berm right there. I own that berm. Which berm? Right here. That's my property stake. The blue stake by the rock. The That's blue, my property. I, I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> right here across the ditch. See that rock across and that wooden stake? I see a stake, yes. So that wooden stake is my property. So this road right here. The dirt road, right. Because you have to leave as an easement for yes, the city. Yes, to, and so I haven't fought them about that. I haven't done anything no, like that. No, why should you? Because they have to be able to... Yes, right. exactly. And so everything that I can do to make all of this happen and to better the town... I know you're not an ogre. You're not like no, some horrible person. I'm not trying to do that. I know that. And and I'm, I'm, you know, the traffic here eventually will put in Gray Street, hopefully. And that'll ease the traffic and, on and this And an street. alley, because you have to have a sewer going down the alley. You Correct. Have to Correct. And so, eventually, we're going to move on, see what we can do to move on, and get another road in here. Right. Right now, Van Patten was the outlet. You guys drive down Van Patten every day. And I never complained not really, about you guys driving down Van That's Patton. different. It's always been there. Yeah, but it's not different. It was there when you You're moved there. You're asking for Come you on, not you to have bought traffic, it. No, but everybody no, else no, can no. have traffic. But when you bought it, it had the traffic. When I bought this, there was no traffic. When you bought that, you had no access to these roads. That's why you had to get the variants. Because you had no access to any city paved and maintained street. But we're putting in the city yeah, paved but, street. Yeah, you know, but that's after and the fact. No, it's not. It what is. What am I building right there? What's been built? Nothing yet, but Nothing. you're doing improvements. Improvements are any grading you have to and do utilities. What you're talking about is like yes, no but, developments yes, at all. Yes, but we can ask for that to go before the planning and zoning and they should have a chance to rule on it. They don't get a chance to rule yes, on they do. something that's already in place. No, it's, that's why you're doing this now. <laughs> that's what just exactly what I said when I no, came up here. So now you're just... trying to get a jump on the gun. To, no, to, I'm not. Well, it's already in place. Do you think that this was just sitting on a shelf somewhere? What? This culvert. No. You know how many months ago I ordered this? You ordered what? That that little flimsy piece of metal? That is not a flimsy it piece is. of metal. It is. No, I could, it's not. I could touch it and I could probably break it with my hands. Go ahead and try. Get an well, engineer out here. You know. If you want to pay for an engineer to come Why do aren't it, you paying for an engineer? I have paid for everything that I need to pay for. That's an engineered culvert. Who says? I mean, what engineer? Which engineer? The company that sold it oh, to Oh, the us. company. But nobody's actually been out here to look at what you're doing. Do they have and why city? should you have a, a, a six foot wide pipe when all along it's an unencumbered, you know, culvert lined with cement? Why? Because the Army Corps of Engineers had an unlimited amount of money when they put that in there. 
and that this, culvert right. is an unlimited amount of money. Now, they had your tax money. They could spend as much of it as they wanted to spend. Right. And that wasn't my tax money then because I didn't get, well, buy my house until 2018. Either way, residents Before you here. bought this land. However, it's not even the point because that was something that connected all the streets to all the other streets. So in Las Cruces. You're not connecting it to all the other streets. You're just Las connecting Cruces it to ours. By the Lowe's exit, right? By the 70 exit in Las Cruces. I don't know, but okay. They just built another 600 homes back there that previously was desert. And do you think that the neighbors in that community before they built those other 600 homes had a right to stop that development? I don't know, I know nothing about that. I can't judge something I know nothing about. And my battery thing is blinking. I hope it doesn't mean it's really out. So I'm doing, I have done, and I am doing everything I can Shit. to try to make sure that every- so what were you saying about the 10 houses or the... So if you go down here, zoned R3. Right. Down by River Bend and right there. And I'm not sure the cross street. I think Daniels, maybe Daniels. There are places that have little casitas. Right, that have been there for, who knows, 20, 30 years. But you haven't complained about those ever. Why would I? Because they're why not being you? built on my street. Exactly. Why so would it's I? all about why would Diane's I? street, Diane's It's stuff, all Diane's our rights, street. It's Diane's all this. our street. So you want everything to First halt. come, first serve. No. Yes. That is not the way it that works. It is the way it works. That is not the way it works. I knew what this street was. I liked it. I liked George's house. Some people don't like George's house, but nobody on this street that bought it, George was here first. Nobody complained about it. Nobody's saying, oh, we don't I want... I haven't complained about George's house. Well, you know what? Time. I bet Shipley will. I bet they'll say, oh, who's going to want to... Who's going to want to buy I'm a... not speaking for everyone what, else. But, I'm speaking but for are me. you sure you're not trying not to get... Anything. Are you, are you no. sure you're not, you're not going to say, said one get thing. rid of this, or nobody's going to buy our homes? There is not one report anywhere with my name on it that has a complaint about Have George's house. Have you talked to Tracy and said you complained? No. Who's going to buy my homes with that place? No. Because once you go over this, it's a different area. Yeah, you're, I'm creating. you're right Once it's you a different this, area it's, it's a different area but this is our area and now you've got your own but what you're saying is private area there, but, but this I is your one of my front yard yes. is what you're saying you know what if it was in an appropriate spot i'd be giving you like all this the commendations is it's, it's not appropriate R3. this is a street that's been in the development since 1929 everything all the boxes are there they're all checked you're fighting a battle that that is not this is completely legal, what I'm doing. Otherwise, it's I only have never legal done all because this. every time you need any kind of variance or any time they have to change the code for you, they will do it. No. That's why it's legal. No. Every, how about the fact that you don't have enough parking spaces for there? We're addressing that too. How about the fact that you that they're too small you're addressing that everything how is being about addressed. the fact there's no turnaround everything's being addressed yes when do we get to see the final plans as soon as the all of this is in and ready to go then i'll submit plans to build why this first and that later shouldn't the plans come first you just said a while ago i couldn't build and develop on an undeveloped street that's the code isn't it i can't build on an undeveloped street i have to put in the street first that's what you said that is the code. Oh, except you got a variance for that. Because... That's because that, to put in the street, you can't have access to a street and put in a street and have the two things conflict with each other. That makes no sense. That's saying that we don't want any development in Sierra County, period. No, that's not true. That's not true. What about the fact that for construction to take place, there has to be final plans? And we construction includes no improvements to the land. Look in the codes. The, I, I, I wish I was do like 15 dash 5. Yeah, Tracy, I know I asked for all the permits. I don't know if they told you from yes. the city clerk. And oh, there are no permits. Uh, and there and there's Tracy's word of mouth. That's it. That's what you've got. What we've done is dirt work is what we've done. Yes, but now you're going to be building a road. That's not dirt road work. But and what road, about the bridge? That's what I'm saying is that the road, if you're saying you can't do a development without a road. No, you already you got a variance a for that. You already got a variance. Yes, I got a variance because that, that made no sense. How do we develop it if you have to have access to a road before you develop the road? That because makes zero sense. Because those kind of things are so that people don't just sell land that people don't have access to. But you knew before you bought it you didn't have access you know? Yes, and it was one or the other. Either McElroy Street had to come in, which can't come in. So I tried to get McElroy Street to go in here. 
you cannot put McElroy Street in. Right. There's gas meters. There's all that stuff. And there's other houses. There. There's You've other got houses. The, it's this a mess. dirt road. That's yes. a, the, right. <laughs> so McElroy Street can't go in. Right. This is the only way to go in. And eventually, you know, possibly all this gets built out, and then there'll be more streets and more and there'll ways be, to get well, in. Will there and out. be more houses coming by and coming by? No. Why can't you just limit yourself to like one house per two lots? If you have to do because this. Because it's zoned R3. I have the zoning to do that. The point is, is that we don't have housing. Did you know that our superintendent cannot get teachers to move here because there's no housing? So our You kids, think they want to live in like 400 square foot little I things? I would love with, to live in one of these No, things. you wouldn't because you'd have no yes, storage. Would. You wouldn't have an outside shed. You wouldn't have a garage. Yeah. You wouldn't have anything. But if I was you a would have coming nothing. Here, no, if you were coming here for like home, two months, guaranteed I would three months, that. no, you wouldn't. Yes, no, I you would, wouldn't. Diane. Whenever no, I was wouldn't. 18 years old, I lived in a 200 square foot box with a shower in the corner. You're, yeah, you're but talking you're talking about me. what were you a teenager? You're no person who's going to afford one hundred fifty thousand dollars minimum is going to want to live in something where they have absolutely no well, storage. Well, if that is true, then you don't have to worry about the traffic. Right? Except for unless they're Airbnb them, and I'm I don't not know going how to you're going to stop it. that. I don't know how because you're going to because we still retain ownership of the land. Right, that's a condo. That's a condo. Right, we retain ownership of the land. So whenever they buy, they sign the contract that says, this is not allowed, this is not allowed, this is not allowed. Right. One of the things we are putting a restriction on is Airbnbs. Oh my God, what if this is not recording? See, I can't see what's happening here. Shit. Well, that's good because, Shoot. you know, maybe in that's, that's like, I mean, if we're, if we're at an impasse and I can't, you know, tell you anything that you're happy about. All right, I'm not happy about increased traffic. How are you going to make sure there's no increased beyond normal capacity traffic and that there's not going to be more than like one house per two lots? So in an R3, how do you dictate what is an extensive amount of traffic in an R3? So if you have multifamily dwellings, how do you dictate that? If you go to any other city, we could put up, like I said, we could put up low income housing right here, three stories high. Right. And I could probably get 50 motel or apartments in that spot right but i'm not doing that i'm still trying to get it to where it's a manageable amount of people 24 is not huge for a city block look at any other go to las cruces and look at a city block where but that's las cruces sits. they've got highways they've got roads connecting to other roads this, this is, is an i-25 the bypass. only street in and out the only street it's like it's an extended dead end or a cul-de-sac at best and that's another variance you're going to need because no, it's not. because if you have a cul-de-sac it has to the center of the cul-de-sac which has to be on a minimum minimum of 25 feet radius so how has to be minimum of 500 right because it wasn't necessary because there's so little traffic you're he would turn around over there he would turn around on private land that's right that's right right and so now he, he backs out, but there's no cars parked land. along the road that he has to worry about. But there was never about. a complaint about There that. was never a complaint. Right. Right, because there's because that the only little traffic you're complaining there. Is because and guess I'm what? Doing this. And guess what? He comes down and he's able to take everything from our side of the street into the garbage <laughs> truck. If he can't turn around, how's he going to get the other side of the street where your development's on? I you told see what I'm you saying? We're dealing with the turnaround issue. I have to deal with all of those issues. Those are all things that I'm doing. The planning process of something like this is not like, here's my plan, and you guys just stamp off on it. It's, well, let's let's check this box. Let's fix this. Let's do this. Let's do this. So the fire marshal said, I need to have a turnaround for yeah, fire Yeah, I called truck. him, and he never called me back. And so that's how all he of knew. these things yeah, have that's how to be he dealt knew. with, and I'm dealing with all of them. How are you going to plan a turnaround? Just, just vaguely, how would you do it? So McElroy Street goes down. Gray Street comes up. Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. That's the way it is in the plan. There is still plenty of land down there for a turnaround. <clears throat> like everything that I can do, possibly do, to alleviate the issues, the issues that you've been dealing with since you bought Which the place, have not been a problem. But now all of a sudden it's a problem because it's I'm building. It's a problem because of increased traffic. Well, nobody and gets to say how much traffic comes on this street. And blocking of the drainage ditch. That is not blocking the drainage ditch. It is. It is not. Nate, think about it. If you have, like, something damming, none of these other bridges dam the drainage ditch. 
your bridge would dam it and then the only time it's even going to be six feet across is when it gets three feet high. So all that pressure will be going against the base what of pressure, your bridge. And if you've lived here that long, you how don't many know. times well, have you seen it? It's that? not how many times. It's the amount it's of like, land that this you know drainage what? ditch you know is what? meant to hold. And probably you're aware of this too, but Robert does a lot of maintenance and stuff here. People don't worry about their roofs leaking until it rains. Then all of a sudden, oh, my roof leaks. And well, guess what? Your roof always leaks, but now it's raining. You don't think that we haven't put any thought into this? Not if you're just going to put a six foot drainage ditch when all the other ones have cement sides. And there's no chance that those are overbuilt because of the amount of land that it drains. Have you looked at the maps that show you how much land that this thing is meant to handle? Sort of. So it's not like the Monticello drain shed, the Monticello shed is immense. It's huge, right? I don't know. It's huge. It goes all the way to Socorro. So the mountains from almost to Socorro, Magdalena, all those drain down into the Monticello ditch and come down those mountains. That's a huge, immense amount of land. Okay. This is not a huge amount of land. This doesn't drain enough land to become an issue. We've looked into all this. I've dealt with all of these things that you're talking about. I've dealt with all of them. I am working, you know, very hard to try to solve all of the issues that are pertaining to what I'm doing. All right, we don't want a lot of traffic on our street every trip in and out going by our houses. Yes, but and especially if they're party go goers right. when they're Airbnb. You have you don't have more than one way out. George doesn't have more than one way out. That's right, but we're only so four houses. Difference? We're four houses. Yeah, but you're four more. Now people. Now you're talking about so twenty-four, or fifty people. You're talking about here fifty so that people. The doesn't have traffic. Fifty people in addition to his sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty people if they have teenagers or something. Don't you understand? Oh, I... There's no how, no street in this whole town that has like a dead end that has like on your amount of lots, 24 homes. There is no such thing. Not in this town. But That's there right. There are other places that do no, have but that. But this is this town. This is a town that doesn't even have parking meters. Exactly. It's this a town, a town that, town that you because would needs to we come don't up. know. Yes. I don't want parking meters. I don't want parking garages. I don't want all that nonsense that I left other places for to come here. Well, why would I? Why would I want that? Because the town. Look at what's happening to Tier C. I don't Houston, know. You tell me what's happening. Okay, so whenever you got here, how many water leaks did you see? None. How many do you see now? That's time and the wearing way of the pipes. Exactly. So how do we pay to replace those? Where how is? That how are you? Are you saying your homes are going to pay for all? I'm saying when that you're the extending the water. The added income. You've extended it and created more of a problem, more of a strain no, on the, this is brand on the new water, water system. It doesn't matter. It's still creating a strain on the water, still creating a strain on the sewer. And then don't you plan to have like six wells on your property that are also going to be draining? All right. So how are you helping anything? You're adding to the problem. No, I'm not adding, to, adding the to the problem. Everything right? that we're doing is by today's codes. I'm not saying in 100 years those will still be the codes, but as of today... Everything that we're doing is under code. Everything that we're doing has been planned and approved Ex and done. Yeah, except for they approved everything so far when everything was not within code. But it's and an they R3. give you variances and they You're do whatever. You're an R3, so right, right here, they could build 40 units right here. And they right. Could, I could build 40 units there. It's an R3. You couldn't build 40 there. I am spacing them apart. Each one of mine is detached. Right. And you have to have the proper distance between each separate dwelling. Yes. You're right At about least that. 10 feet. I'm doing everything according to plans, according to codes. Can Is there any guarantee you can give us that, A, they're not going to be airbnb them? You've already said that. I'm, I'm not, not sure Airbnb I caught it on them. the other. Yes. And you're going to make it part of the HOA and the whole codes. Yes. They cannot Airbnb. Yes. or. So you'll have the owner of the place is who's going to be coming here. The owner. And then you're right. There's a chance that a good group of those will not be full-time residents, right? Right. There's a good chance <clears throat> that the people that are going to buy these have another home in Montana or Wyoming mm -hmm. or somewhere it snows 30 feet every okay. summer or every winter. And so this is going to be their winter getaway. Right. Right? Snowbirds, things like that. So you can almost bet that 50 to 60% of this will not be full-time residents. Correct? Correct. They're just and no they're going to leave it fallow for the rest of the time and not make a profit and try to pay back their mortgage by renting it out or no, airbnb -ing it? You, it's going. I'm telling you, we've already All right, addressed that. That's good. You keep I believe you. I, I'm, I'm telling you. doing it for the benefit of in case I missed it before. 
that and what about increased traffic? The increased traffic, so if you're talking about that, you're talking about 60%, 40% occupancy year round. So now you're not talking about 24 vehicles going up and down the street every day. Or 50, or 50 if there's two people or per dwelling. Or 50 or whatever, right. If those things become vacation homes for people where they come here, enjoy the town, eat in our restaurants, do all of these if things. If there only were restaurants, wouldn't that be great? Yes, and that's another thing that more people will grow and it'll make it more vibrant. We're trying to help. We have to grow. We're going backwards. And you have to know that. Just the water leaks alone tell you the city is going backwards. And that is what's happening. They're looking for funding from the feds and from everybody else to take care of the issues that the town does not have the money to take care of. Right? I know the town is, they're well-intentioned and they really, just like us, want it to thrive and be good because yeah. that's why I moved here because I really like it and I want it to be uh, uh, as good as it can be. Yeah. But I just don't want it to be at somebody's monetary benefit while it's at my living expense. Do you see my point? I do understand what you're saying and I am not trying to create something that's going to put you at distress. That's not what I'm trying to do. I know that's not Right now I'm trying to build the housing, build the town, do what we can to get new people here, more money flowing through our town so that it can help the whole situation. Otherwise, if we don't do this, you may not have a water system. Look at what, when did, where did that happen at? In Arizona somewhere, I think. Several places in the United States that are in the same state of disrepair as T or C, mm -hmm. and they just shut down the water. So where do you go if the water system fails and they just shut it down? Rio Grande. <laughs> Dig a well for the, the volcanic water below. Yeah, something, I mean, right? Yeah, but do that. it's impossible to live here if that happens. Well, not if necessarily. We don't work together as a community to try to move it forward in a positive way, then we're all screwed. Our whole town will collapse. <clears throat> Can you guarantee that if somehow this doesn't work out or you find fault with the bridge plan or with other things that are going on, you'll try to fix it after the fact? The bridge plan is solid, okay? It's not going to flood. If it floods, then yes, of course, I'll have to fix it. You know, somebody will have to fix it if the thing fails, right? It's going to have to happen, correct? Correct, but so, then it's the city's problem, and taxpayers would have to be paying. But that's not, you don't, we're not putting, we don't put in anything to fail. No, I but mean, you will you fix it. The, I mean, even if, that, and the, the taxpayer, I know they're not shoddy, although I hear those are already being Airbnb'd 129 a night. Well, the one, but that's, that's different than this. I don't have HOA. Right, that. right, right. That's not right, HOA. Right, That's single homes, single family dwellings that we're building and selling. Right. And what they do with their property, they're Americans, they can do whatever they want with their property. Right. According to the city. Right, right. And I do agree that the city should probably put a cap on Airbnbs at some point. Right. Because once we create housing and move people out of the motels, the motels are still going to need to make a living. Right. So and the spas. Need, the and spa, the spas. Pelican Spa or yes, all La Palomas or all those. They need, they don't want to see you as a competitor. You're right. gonna have all your little hot tubs, each dwelling. It makes it look but that's like for one it makes person. it look like you've got a spa going on that people are gonna be renting out on a yeah, daily basis. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. Okay, I don't good. want if you're in your tub right here. Yeah. Just like at Riverbend right now. Ever since they legalized weed, you go soak at Riverbend and weed smell is coming over. I don't smoke weed. And I don't drink. I don't do anything. So for me, that's very offensive. I won't even go to Riverbend. You know. So. The last thing that I want is people partying in an Airbnb next to someone who paid me for this home to come enjoy and relax. Right. That's the last thing I want. Right. And so I have to protect that because say that happens, we build four of these things, right? And sell them. And that right. happens in the first four. Mm -hmm. Then whenever the people come down here to see the next four that we built and all of a sudden they're talking to the neighbor, oh yeah, they just Airbnb this and they party every weekend and it's horrible. Right. Then I'm not going to sell the rest of what I'm doing. It's a bad move. The Airbnb is a bad move for me. It is. It's a horrible move. For and here's me. another thing, though. People, like, at least once or twice a day, somebody, like, thinks, oh, maybe this isn't really a dead end, and they come in here, and they drive down the street, and they turn around, and they back out again. Uh, when people know something's going on down here, and when there's a bridge, we're going to get looky-loos constantly driving in addition, we're not, in addition we're, to the bridge. We're not opening this street until the whole thing is it doesn't matter. They're all going to be coming down here. Yeah, and never, yeah. but that'll die down in a month. You know, uh, no, it won't. Die. No, it won't. Then they'll all be coming instead of coming here and turning around and saying, "Oh, there's nothing there." 
to all be one in here. It'll all just be... Yeah, and then it'll be my problem over there. So they're going to drive right by you and go over the bridge. And yeah. really, we have more of a you know problem with traffic than what you're going to have. They you're going to have to have somewhere for them to turn around is my point. Too. And they, we are dealing with that. We are dealing with that. And perhaps Shipley could chip in on some of your stuff if he really do get a turnaround. Otherwise, he'd have to build his own turnaround. If you're not building a turnaround, he'd be required to build a turnaround. And he'd lose valuable building space. You might want to take that up with him. And in fact, is he also going to be utilizing well, your water main? Up, then George is going to give up and build a turnaround, right? No. Yeah. No. See, because George was here first. That doesn't work He's that building. Way. He's the developer. What is good for no. the goose has to No, no, that's not hands. true. Yeah. It's not true. Person's here. So if the city came through here and they took this as a All right, we're not talking the city, we're talking right, you, a private anyone, developer. Anyone no, takes you're, this. you're a person who's making money off this. Hopefully. Maybe right. not. Maybe right. I'll go broke. So you don't and have to move get, to Texas. From my point of view, Texas. It's and they will expensive. be out of contractors and nobody will be able to, you know. Right, I'm sure you're doing a, a good job here with all your contractors. Well, we're trying. So, like, Bob down here that owns that motel or that uh, mobile home, his roof blew off last week in that windstorm. Oh. Who does he call? Like if I don't keep my guys working, if we don't work and build and develop, whenever a roof goes down and your husband does roofing, so you're fine. He does all sorts of things. Yeah, he does everything, so you're fine. But well, I don't. Use what his happens money, whenever by the, way. the bobs of our community or these people, these older people of our community, need somebody? Right, it's good you're here. Yeah, if this doesn't work, if I can't make money here and keep my guys busy, then I'm out of here. I'll be gone. There are no other contracts. Do you have plans for these other lots over here? I don't own those. Right, but would you try to own them and yeah, I would. build there I and would. put more traffic on our street? No, because if I buy those, then they'll have to be, you know, other streets. Uh -huh. The more that we can build and develop, the more it's going to alleviate this traffic. What you should be hoping for is that all of this land gets developed. Because then there'll be cross streets and there'll be intersections. There'll be things that alleviate. And some people will come in from the river and some people right, that's will come what we're in hoping. from shopping. If you're doing this, you would at least do Gray Street so that we had some kind of relief yeah, of constant back and forth. Right now, I have to get this done. But I'm not by any means done with this. Mm -hmm. You know? And this is the street that, that services that block. That's just the way it is. Right. And I'm sorry that that's the way it is, but that's the way it is. I can't put in 10 streets to get to one city block. Nobody does that, right? <clears throat> I have one street that goes to my house, and that's it. I have one in, and that's it. So... Yeah, but how many street, How many houses on your block? I don't know, 20, 30? Yeah, your one block? In one block. Yeah, it goes all the way up like that to the cul-de-sac, around the cul-de-sac, back down to we my house. We have a cul-de-sac. At the end, yeah. Because it was planned that way. Mm -hmm. If this was a dead end street, whenever you bought it, the city would have had to have put a coal sack right here. Yeah. This would have had to have been a turnaround. And whoever developed your street would be at fault for not putting in this coal sack. Mm -hmm. But it's not a dead end street. <clears throat> this never was meant to be a dead end street. And Hobbs and Henson are the ones that made those plans, did the subdivision plans. And that's why that, that street, was named Hobbs Street up there. And that's why that yeah. was named Hobbs Street is because he said, well, I did the plans yeah, and but, named the street after me. But you know on the map how Wyona goes all the way up the hill? Are you going to put it all the way up the hill now? And I don't own any of that. No, it doesn't matter. I mean, no, it does matter. But the road I don't own is, you're that. saying the road I can't is supposed develop to. Stuff I don't own. But you're saying it's supposed to go up that hill. Oh, it's, I would love that. Wouldn't you love that if we took that all yeah, the way up how? that hill it's and had an exit steep. coming it's off? It's too steep. Oh, no. Look at that road over there going right up that hill. That's not too steep. Yeah, because that's a non used road. That's... I, I use that road all the time. Yeah, all right. Okay. Go fishing. Foch, yeah. Foch Hill's the same way, like that. Yeah, Foch Hill's a nightmare, especially Foch when it's icy. Yeah. So anyways, it would be awesome. But yeah, if we could build houses or things right there along that hillside and this hillside and develop all this down That's here. That's supposed to be commercial up there. There's supposed to be stores yeah, I know, up there. Yeah, I know. The land actually ends like where that tree is back there, where that elm tree is. Or that the the, the big kind of beyond the guy with the blue t-shirt there? Is that what you're no, saying? No, all the way back there. See the one that's, that's almost... That's, that's all right. A way up near the road? Yeah. So that's where the residential land ends. Right there. Mm, commercial is all along that road on this yeah, side. Yeah, but that, where that tree is, is the last piece of land that is owned privately down here. Mm. And the city or the state or whoever owns the rest of that. Mm -hmm. Here's your camera. Thank you. I'm going to go take it. And I'll meet you up there at 3.30 because we have that meeting. Yeah, we do. All right, well, thanks for...
talking. Yeah, I am trying everything I can, Diane, to make sure that this doesn't negatively impact anybody. I'm trying to help the town, and we're trying to grow the town. You don't know how stressful this has been for us. Well, because you've made it stressful. I, no, why? Because even we went to made it council, stressful. I even went to the city council meeting and gave my phone number out. You guys all know where to find me. You all know that you can I've called you from the minute I heard about this back in October 2021. You've yeah. never not told me anything different. I'm not, you're not hiding anything. No, I'm right. not. So, and I'm not going to And I don't anything. think you're doing, you're trying to do anything negative or whatever, but nonetheless, I don't think you've realized how this has made us feel here. Right, but you had to have known when you bought this and there was all this vacant land on yeah, both sides. Yeah, that's why we bought the lot next to us. Yes. Because we want to keep our view. And this we didn't have the money for, or we would have bought that too. Yeah, but you But we know figured, that, fine. That eventually this is we going knew, to Yes, get yes. You had but that's to here that. we knew that. You yeah. see what I'm saying? We knew that here, we knew that that would probably be developed. Fine. So if I was building this right here, you would But we never it. would have thought this nobody in their right mind would have thought that and i bet we could take a poll of a hundred people and 99 people would say no that that well you're be right about that because like elephant butte and elephant butte where butte, butte general is across the street from that all the way to the lake used to be desert and if you went back 25 years ago and you asked people that lived there since then did you ever think this many much houses would be here and i guarantee you're right they would say no we did not expect that but nevertheless it had that it happened nevertheless vacant land at some point, if the town doesn't just die completely, it's going to be developed. It, ha it has to be one or the other. Either the town dies or the town gets developed. And you have to decide which one of those that you want, but either one of them, one of them displaces you. The one where we develop and we build and we grow together, that one helps everyone. And you may have to put up with a little bit more traffic, yes, but your town grows. There are going to be more restaurants that open. There are going to be more things that happen. We're going to have teachers and nurses and doctors. These are things that we need. There's still so many abandoned buildings. I agree. And I wish that down here that people would sell to me. I really wish that they do. And I'm not saying people like, you know, the lady across the street that has the blue bottles on her fence. Yeah. That lady is the Mary. sweetest lady. Right. And she has her little decorations up. And I think it's great. That's awesome. I have no problem with that. That's wonderful. The purple house is horrible. Right? The one You've that, built up right next to it so that all of your property drains right into their property. But the purple house is gone. Like, it's it's trash. Right. It's trash. It needs to come down. And maybe it will, and maybe somebody else will build yeah, something. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, right? And so, I don't want to take away people that keep their property. I know that you keep your property nice and up to Yeah, it, you're trying. Yes, and I know that she does. And yes, it's a single-wide mobile home and whatever. I don't care. I grew up in a single-wide mobile home. I would still live in one if I had to, you know, it just, I don't care. But what I'm saying is the people that keep their property up, like this lady here, she's doing a nice job, but her house is nice, that one's nice. But I'm saying the ones that, that just let their stuff go to where it's dilapidated. And that know, don't live here. And don't live here. That's the worst. Yes. And so wouldn't we rather have housing that All right, but let's say, for in. instance, right next to us, we've got a house that's not occupied, hasn't been ever since I bought my place. Right. What if she, because now the man's dead, sells it, and then next to us we've got some huge monstrosity like your other houses down the street. But you next have to, to understand us. that down there we had a blank slate. So right, we had right. this over I'm not here. Saying we had that, all this over here. I'm just saying if that was here in our midst, we wouldn't like it. Right. And so we know that. And so our Van Patten lot that we own right here, right? Rusty right. Callaway's old place. Right. We bought that lot. Right. We're not going to build a two story there. Okay. That's going to be a single story house because the houses around it tell you can't build a two-story here right because it doesn't match it doesn't go with what's going on this is on. what i'm saying nor does it match 24 houses on what amounts to 11 lots when the rule is you know 16 lots over here and but that's not the rule eight houses the zoning is r3 i know that's the zoning is r3. if you want to call that the rules i'm calling it the rule the norm what's the done norm, here the norm that, is one house on minimum of one or two lots but per, not down on the other side right I so if you drive down from A and B and you come down that road right there, there's casitas packed into the little That's lots. casitas. Those and are people that used to probably have spas. Packed into those spas. lots. Spas. Packed into those spas. lots. Spas. That's different. They're not spas. They're rentals. I know people that rent those. Right. Well, that's monthly and live there. That's full because time. that's the hot spring zone and people were there to make but money off. They don't it. have hot springs. Those people down there. I live bet at one point you could research. I bet they would have. I bet they would have, and I bet they had rights to. 
soak in other people's hot springs. Maybe would be And way that back it was money making like that. But this is you don't you don't like from the get go, from the start, do something to emulate something that's happened in the past that maybe wasn't very good. You see my and point? that's not what I'm doing. Those on there are a good example that it's allowed down here. I'm not saying and it's I'm not, not saying allowed, that but everything that's allowed, good. you're allowed to eat like everything you want. Let's see you later when you're 400 pounds. Yeah. And no, I come on. I mean, that, that's... I agree with that too, but right. I am not, I'm not doing anything here. Like I said, I could put a bunch more units there. Yeah. I could have put a ton of units there. We could have built low-income housing. I could have got grants from the federal government to build low-income housing. And I could have had every druggie, and the federal government would have been paying me for the living to live across the street from me. Yeah, and that would have been a nightmare. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, is that I am trying to make decisions that keep in mind the integrity of our community. And I think that, you know, you have to just get to a point that you realize that, that I am trying my best to maintain the integrity of Pier 2. And I know it's this little quirky, and there's people like me, and then there's Sid Bryant, but we all get along. Like, me and Sid get along great. I love Sid. Yes. We get along great, me and him. And I like Matter Andy, fact, we and I like Andy too. Our, and yeah, we brokered the deal on our house with Sid. That's great. Me so, too. Sid was my realtor. It's not. I don't want to be against half the community and with half the community and be like, here, come on we my shouldn't, side. All come of us, on my side. We should all be like in one thing together. Yes. But that's why when one person seems to be taking precedence over the will of many more, it doesn't seem right. And you're going to say, okay, but I have many more that are going to want to buy, and they their rights take over above and beyond I'm your rights. I'm not saying that anyone's rights, what's that loss? I'm not saying that anyone's rights supersede or take over anyone else. Mm. I'm saying that by the code book, I'm I know, allowed by the to code build book, this. By the code book. <laughs> I'm allowed to do it, and I have to do this. I have to make this a, a reality. It has to happen because right now you either live in a shack or you don't live in tears. Mm -hmm. It's not getting anyone here. We're not attracting anyone positive to our town. We're attracting negative. So I'm. I was attracted here, and I'm not positive. I'm not. You've been here since before it was really in huge disrepair. No. So. No, I've only actually been here since 2019. But I owned the house in the year before. I had to sell my other house. I had a beautiful, big, spacious, you know, right. historic home. But I love this town. I just really, something hit me. I said, this is, yes, this is I, how people are supposed to act. Too. This is how yes. friendly and how they talk to you. They don't just sit around, no, I don't have time. Which and I don't... is why I'm taking the time right now to talk to you. I know. I am not I can the see monster. That. I know you're not a you monster. Know, I not. never said you were. People would go, oh, you no, he's, he's fine. He's a businessman. He wants yes, to. And plus, he probably to. has the best interest. Tracy has the best interest. The city manager has the best interest. But... And 24 right here is a whole lot better than me putting up a low-income housing project. There's no way you can put up 24 and keep within at least minimum 450 square feet. Yeah, I can. I can. They're going to be beautiful. They're not going to be smaller. They're going to be beautiful. The whole complex is going to be beautiful. When the plan is done, it's going to be awesome. There's a chance you may want to sell yours and move over here. Uh, no. <laughs> no. I'm just saying they're there's no garages be... you have no garage oh, right people don't yeah I'm sorry like but we're living and most people that really live need some kind of storage yeah. beyond a, a walk-in closet in their bedroom and I would agree with that too but a lot of people don't live that way a lot of people are minimalistic you know they just live the smallest amount of space and it allows them Let's to afford to go see, here the minimalists there. and then there's George <laughs> this, I really like his place I've never seen inside but you got to commend somebody who's got this kind of dedication. Yeah, like I said, Seriously. You will not find anywhere or anything where I have ever done that. Right. I don't do that. Too. Maybe you didn't have to do it on paper, but whatever. I don't. And that purple house next door to my bills drives me insane. Yeah. I still don't go to the city and complain about it. I don't go turn in paperwork. Right. And I don't go do all that because they have a right to a certain extent to do as much as they want to do. I wish that they would fix it or sell it or something. But they can't really sell it right now. No, they can't. That. It's a mess. Right. So I'm just saying, if I don't go to the city and rah, 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 because I want that to be different. Do I want it to be different? Yes. But I'm not going to go through legal channels and do all this stuff to try to force it to be different. Right. I'm 
you know, trying to work with everybody. I'm trying to do everything that I can to, you know, not have this confrontation with you. I don't like confrontation. I don't either. Anybody. I don't. It makes it make me sick. Yes. The last year has been such a. We can't sleep at night. Well, don't. I don't know why you. Because you've in this big and a war. the noise and the back and forth with those beep 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 backup things. Look. And at least he's putting water in it now. I should show you a video of that hugely windy day. Yes, but the last dirt, week the, when the wind, you have no idea how hard, I've got videos. It oh, I was do. horrendous. I do know how bad it is, no, I do. I had all of it my It was land horrendous, and that is a clear violation of the codes, and you should probably be fined for that. I mean, it was really, really horrible. Yeah, well, seventy mile an hour winds in the yeah, desert. Yeah, and they were doing, but they were doing all of their piling of dirt and spreading it around in that wind. Yeah. Well, and they, you know, we have to move work forward. Oh, you have to move it forward, but it's against the law. It's against the law to not be sprinkling like this guy's doing right now. At least he's doing it, you know? Yeah, so. Anyway, at least you seem sincere, and I hope that things do work out okay. They're going to work out. I don't really take no for an well, answer. Well, work out for you. I'm just saying, I hope they work out okay. They are. I mean, you know? like I told you, we're not going to Airbnb them. So you're going to have 24 residents over here. They're not going to move a family of three in here. Right. It's just impossible. Right. 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 And so you have 24 residents. Say 40% of that is full time. The other 60% is only here in the winter mm -hmm. or whenever they vacation here. Mm -hmm. So really, you're talking about maybe 10 more vehicles being added to the traffic. That's not a huge amount. I don't believe that. I believe it'll be more, and then they'll have their Amazon deliveries. They'll have their... The, the... You don't buy anything from Amazon? I do, but he comes and pulls <laughs> right. into my driveway and turns That's around. That's what I'm saying. Though. But now he's going to go drive by my house, and then he's going to drive back out. Yes, he's going to yes. drive by, and he's going to drive back out. And he does that in my out. house every day to go up the cul-de-sac and deliver and come back out. Him and UPS and the mail truck, and I deal with the same thing. I know exactly what you're talking about. With the traffic on our street is continuing. Mm -hmm. But right here, I mean, you can hear the traffic on the main street. Not really. Not from my place. Well, from right here, you can. I can right hear, here, I can. Yeah, you can but I don't live right here. So, I just think that we have to, you know, I have to help this town get better. It has to happen. And I'm sorry that that disrupts what you like about it and that, but it has to happen. We have got to fix this town. We have to work together to do that. So, all right. Well, we've been talking with Nate Stevens, um, who's building this community of 24 homes, supposedly over here on his lot across the drainage ditch, and notices culvert in the ground and people preparing for the bridge. When do you think the bridge is going to go in? Mm, we're doing rock rock walls, and we're doing a bunch of stuff, so it's going to be an ongoing. Deal. Okay. I, I noticed that your bridge and the plans anyway blocked the entire dirt road. No. Okay. I can't block that. That's what I wouldn't think. Yeah. Right. And, so and the road has be, to be at least be 36 nice. feet not wide, gonna, not 32 it like it on your plans. Like 50 foot the culvert right no, 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 no. You, the bridge and the roads have to be 36 feet wide according to code. That's what I'm saying. And your plans is 32 feet. feet. No, I'm not talking about the width of the bridge. I'm talking about the width of the road. Yeah, the road needs to be 30 feet. This no, road 36 is 30 feet. feet. Your road is so. Are you Ours is 34. You're going to pay to widen it? To no, it's not our road. It's the city's road. Oh, it is your road. But you're building this road, and this has to be 36 feet yeah. wide. And that's going to be a 36. That's going to be the road, the same as this road. It's this road going over that one. Yeah, on your plan, so you have 32 feet. It can't be 32 feet. It's not. And, and there has to be some walkway along the bridge for pedestrians to go back and forth. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Wide. Look, take a 36 foot bridge. 50 foot wide? Yeah, this is Not on your plan, it wasn't. But right here in person. Okay. You can't argue with something that's right No, here you're right. I see it right in it's front of me. Foot. And so you have seven foot of pedestrian walkway on both sides. That's greater than that bridge. Right. And it's going to be rock wing walls, and it's going to be wrought iron railing. And that's not six feet. Those pipes are not six feet. It's, a, it's condensed because I didn't want to make a big old hump. How, right how, there. how, what's the diameter of that? Uh, it's the same square footage as a six footer. It's just not round. It's an open space. It doesn't.
Anyway, thanks. Okay. All right, I gotta go with your taxes. All right, thank you. Okay. What amount of water? The amount of water I've got pictures of. <clears throat> How much water was it? It was... I've got pictures of it. I parked my car down there so we can compare how high it is on That's the car. That's fine. That's fine, George. But you guys can't just say, you know, we have pictures and we have videos and we don't think this and we don't think that. No, I'm that. saying who's going to insure it and who's, who's engineered it because we've got new stuff coming down from the dollar store. We've got five pipes got people on Van Patten that the have been silk. The dollar store doesn't drain into that. Yeah, it does. And, and it drains right over there. You can see that culvert coming out inside that mountain. Over there. Well, it, it once that one fills up, which I've seen it and probably have pictures, it goes to the next one. There's four of them. What you're talking about is like a, so you were here five years ago or whatever, four years ago, when we had the seven inches in three hours. Is that the flood you're talking about? Well, it happens every year, right? Yeah, but not horribly. You have to remember, I live right there. I lived right yeah. there on Van Patten. No, I no, I'm, right I'm, just, I'm not trying to, I'm just saying, who ensures that this is good enough? Because I went and talked to Wilson, and I went and talked to Smithco, and they said, talk to Javier or whoever. And, the streets department. And, okay. And Travis at the flood lane coordinator. And all of those people are all people that I've been dealing with. Yeah, but that, then... Why haven't we seen engineering? Why haven't we seen water to keep the dust down? You know, they're doing it today. Why haven't you cut supplied the codes on your property? I'm, <laughs> I'm grandfather. Well, how come it's good for you and ain't good for me? No, I, I'm just saying. You're coming in and building them, Nate. Something here before well, I'm just saying, that is, is entirely not different. You cannot plans. compare I'm something. Saying, no, it, right. it, the dollar so, store is going to. If you pass. look, probably there's so many code. Violations over the whole city in people's homes, but, but that's let besides get, the point. Let me get back to the water thing because oh, okay. it's going to drain to the street. How does your street drain through a small pipe? And there's four pipes that are bigger than that to drain Date Street, I-25. That's who I always try to chase down is I-25. You can't drain I-25 into a pool. So you're saying that those ones up there have a greater diameter than the yes. ones up there? Yes. Yes. No, that's not the way it works. And not only that, but you're... engineering on water, you have so much water that's coming down, and you have so much water that saturates, you have so much that that it stops. If you want to complain about something, this this used to be lined with riprap rock. Whenever they built this, it was lined with riprap rock. The whole ditch, all the way through. And, and that's my... I've got complaints all the way back. Yeah, and they yeah. didn't maintain it. No, they not So won't. the complaint is, is because the riprap slows the water and, down. And why don't we get to have a concrete box culvert with chain link fence and compacted? Do you really ditch? want it to look like a prison? I, I would. I would. I want compacted because I can't keep the ditch from coming into my yard. Nate, have you ever seen Post and Wyona? We call it Lake Wyona, yes. Lake Post. Yes. When it rains, but you guys all haven't... your cars are going to have to drive through that. Yeah, but you guys haven't ever complained about that. Well, we've mentioned it, but we're not going to complain. It's only because it's why right should here. we complain? I don't no, know why are you who, complaining. But if you have all, ditch? but your people buying your homes the are going to complain. The city insures the bridge. The city, just like they insure your water, your sewer, okay, shouldn't your they, street. Who, who made them build the better culvert on Manhattan and Mars? The Army Corps of Engineers. Okay, well where are they? I want to talk to them. Well, you can try to get a hold of them if you want. Okay, yeah. well that's what's going to happen. And, you know, because I've, I've been defending myself and losing. I haven't won yet, but it it shouldn't be the problem that I've got to continue. It's going to be. He's closest to the ditch. She's closest and not to the only water. That, but you got to realize I own 825. Whenever yeah, but they you put that in. Uh, uh, and that as I'm, in, that that's 25 comes, feet away no, from the not. ditch. Yes, it is. I no, measured it's it. Not. Yes, it is. Look, Diane, come here. Oh, I thought. Oh, the new, all right, no, I thought you meant the place on the other side. No, that is my house. Which one? That one right there that we're staring at. You see the wooden yoga studio thing? Uh, no. On the left-hand side. Can you Whatever. see the I banner see the on the fence? I, I am that property. So see what we did right. here and we alleviated it from being on his property. 
they didn't do that over there. That hump comes all the way down. All the water from the street drains into my property. Mm -hmm. Every bit of it. So I know what you guys are talking about. And I am doing everything I can. That's the reason this is an oblong culvert. And so that we can fix A what that. culvert? Oblong. It's egg-shaped versus being completely round. Oblong, okay. Because if we would have been up here, imagine how far we would have had to go back to get a road in here. That's what we were worried about too. And so every decision the, the, that the I made. The slope making, of the bridge yeah, that would be like on Mars. They did that to me right there. It was there. so high that it was. Yeah. Yeah. The next time you go out Van Patten right there. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. And we thought Look that's what, what you're going to do here. Right. And so every consideration that I could take knowing this because I live there, I've taken into consideration so that that doesn't happen to him or to anyone else. Like every consideration I can think of, I have taken. The pipe is plenty big enough. It's going to get rid of the water it's going this thing has never crested ever crested it doesn't even get close the most i've ever seen it run is about two inches deep that's the most i've ever seen it run and that was during that flood my backyard was two feet but this ditch is still only two inches deep like i have done every consideration that I could possibly think of. But you have no engineer, actual engineer. This is from the city. I don't, the city, but who? Who's the engineer in the city? I think Wes, I don't know. Wes, the engineer for the city, has looked at these. Wes who? Uh, I'm not sure his last name. I Wes never, Hall? Wes what? Hall, I believe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I never name. heard of such a person. And I couldn't find any information no, about the, a city engineer. The city engineer. has an engineer that they, you know, do get with and do everything. He has looked over these plans. He's agreed with the city. The city attorney has agreed. The engineer has yeah, agreed. Yeah, the city the attorney is the one that... The mayor has agreed. I don't have that much pool. You're talking like I have pool and all of these things. I met Bruce a year and a half ago. I don't know him from Adam. You're acting like I have some sort of draw. In 2009, whenever I moved here, I had a 1989 Oldsmobile, a tool bag in the trunk, and a bag of clothes. That's all I had in my name when I moved here. So you, you guys are treating me like I'm some huge New York developer that's coming in here and stomping all over you. I have built myself in this town. I'm trying to help you build yourself in this town. I moved here. Those pink and green multiples of one's offering you the London Police Department. The real colorful pieces of crap up there. That's the place I live in. I am not, you know, I don't have 10 generations of money back in me. I don't have this. I'm just a country boy trying to make a living. That's all I am. And this, you know, if I was a big, huge, rich developer, I would have came in here and did all this in six months. Yes, yes. All right. So you have to understand that I am not the big bad wolf and I'm not some <laughs> rich freaking developer. I grew up in Fort Stanton, New Mexico. I don't know if you've ever been to Fort Stanton. Never heard of it. Yeah. Never heard of it. Hey, we only have five minutes. Okay. I've got to All right. Taxes. Okay. Sunday, March 12th. So here is the wonderful bridge. It's nothing but dirt. Dirt and a flimsy metal culvert. Um, I'm going to go down this side here and get a better look at it. But all this is is dirt. Uh, there was no compacting other than multiple huge trucks driving onto it. Yeah, people enjoy coming back here because it was quiet and kind of wild. Long. All right, here we are. Oh, this looks substantial. So, here's the metal. It's fairly rigid. It looked flimsy. It's fairly rigid. But this is it. You're going to have a, what? Put a dirt on top of a little metal thing like this with lots of traffic going over it. Somehow it doesn't seem quite substantial enough to me.
No, it doesn't really seem quite substantial enough for large amounts of traffic, this little thing holding up a road, an asphalt. But, you know, the city says it's fine. So this side where the water comes in, there's some kind of a metal scoop, I imagine, to gather up the water. At least that's kind of, kind of good. But if the pipe is not able to contain all the water that's floating in it at one time, and it's flowing rather rapidly, where's the pressure? When you saw this area, it's all been filled in. And the building code is you build an undisturbed soil for like thousands and thousands of years, known as loosened soil, so that this foundation is solid. This will probably be slab and grade, and you can see it's elevated above the floodplain, but it has not been compacted. And it will compact on its own if you don't pre-compact it. There's special machines, and then you water it to get it really dense and solid, the way it was with geology. And um, it's like in the Bible, it says, build on rock, don't build on sand. And this is basically building on sand that it will look beautiful. The water will come in until the city water stops working. Hmm. The flushing will work because it's on gravity, but there's a pumping station. When that fails, all of our sewage has to be pumped up above this hill here. Above the so it's just like the whole city is falling apart. And these will look beautiful and new until a few years from now. Why are there cracks here? Oh, don't worry. How come there's cracks there? And, and why is the roof leaking? We understand, although it's not been verified, that the houses that Nate built at the end of the street already have the roofs leaking. Yeah, we don't know. This is like we've heard it. And Nate believes in these sophisticated designs which don't really fit into our ethic. But the first time I went to Santa Fe, New Mexico, I said, what's wrong, what's wrong? It turns out all the gas stations were there, all the McDonald's, but they have a sign code and only four styles of building can be built. And most people choose Adobe. So Nate is building this avant-garde, there's probably a name for it. But there's a reason that it hasn't been built. It's because it doesn't shed water well. He, depending on waterproof decks, which have to have a lot of synthetic, have to have a lot of flashing done properly. And synthetic eventually breaks. But this is a brand new home, Sam. Right, right. Probably weren't done well enough. I'm noticing something here besides the fact that this is just like a foot of dirt on top of, you know, this metal pipe. Look at this drop-off over here. Yeah, right. From the road, from the dirt road. Exactly. All this is... He's not going to build his land up to the dirt road. So all of that is going to be draining into his land. And we've already seen pictures of what his land looks like <laughs> after a rain. It's a swamp. And all the little frogs used to come out then. But, you know, it, and look, the slope, it's draining from the road this way onto his property. And the hill over there with the drainage pipe in the side of it, yeah. that's going to be draining down this way. Um, and that's Broadway, the top of Broadway is by the Veterans Home. So right. that's not just the immediate water, it's right. all it's the water. It's all of that water. Including Dollar General probably. Exactly. Drains onto Broadway, which drains into that. So we'll see. I mean, he could get these built and then the people who buy it could be suing him. So. had to dig all those big rocks out, two tons of rocks. Surf's up. Surf's up. <laughs> Rain boots.